And felon locked in a home, dozens of deputies and policemen 24 hours trying to reason with him while his six-year-old daughter is caught in the middle of the chaos. A disturbing ending to this tense situation in Lakeland, 39-year-old Gary Cauley killed himself. His daughter is safe, but there are questions about what will happen to her now and the rest of her life. The news reporter Bo Zimmer is in Lakeland tonight talking to child psychologists and the sheriff about what this little girl went through. The emotional scars likely being left behind. It will be the childhood home six-year-old Rylan Colley will never forget. Signs of fun time scattered across the front yard. The front window, a vivid reminder of the horrific moment that could shatter any child's life. He told her, I love you. Go to the deputies. They won't hurt you. Then I'm going to kill myself. That's the last thing that child heard from her father. And to me, that's horrific. That's heartbreaking. And he did that to her. He left her with that baggage for the rest of her life. Polk Sheriff Grady Judd talking about 39 year old Gary Colley's tense 24 hour standoff with deputies, leaving his daughter trapped in the middle. Our heart breaks because see, there's going to be next week, next month, next year, and next decade. Oh my gosh, this, this poor girl. Dr. Bernie Wilkinson is a clinical psychologist in Lakeland and followed Ryland's case through the weekend. Probably 100% she would need some, some help, uh, just if, in the, if not just at the very least of grieving the loss of her father, but uh, the, the, with greater probability she's going to need to talk to somebody to work through you know, relationship issues and attachment potential issues that are going to emerge from this. He says that's because this is the age where children are creating the foundation for all future relationships and the sudden loss of a father can be detrimental. We want to make sure she has mental health services because we want the adjustment back to normal life as rapidly and as quickly and as much of that as possible. The human condition is, is amazing and, and what kids can live through and make it through and com, come out the other side um, and, and do well. Uh, it really is remarkable and, and I think that with some help and you know if, if things go the way that they can and should go, um, she can come out the other side just fine. In Lakeland, Bo Zimmer, 10 News. Now on Sunday, the Department of Children and Families requested to conduct an emergency child welfare interview with Rylan, delaying the reunion with her mother. DCF says Rylan is now back with her family, but could not comment any further on the case.